Good afternoon, Mustangs. I'm Jaden Zachary. I'm Emily Bergen, and you're watching Mustang Nation News. This week's sports student spotlights are Cassidy Epperson and Brett Leach, who have both been staple varsity players through their high school careers and have shown nothing but excellence on and off the court. Both players and their teammates have a great bond that has only seen growth over the years. Uh, we're all just, we just like to hang around each other and we like uh, the company of each other so that just really gives us that team bonding type of thing that transfers out onto the court so we just like to always be around each other and have fun. Um, I'm really close with a lot of our team. I mean we're all like, we have a lot of new players this year but we kind of all just get along. It's, it's like a family. Both players believe there are multiple traits the Mustangs have that give them the edge on other teams. Uh, just that bond we have and the uh, like relationship we have on and off the court. We just know each other and we know what to do on the court and who to get the ball to, when, and stuff like that. Um, just how much we kind of trust each other and we're all growing together right now. Growing up, both players have played their whole childhood and has a growing love for the sport. Uh, I just like the competition, just it's not as big as football and you really just focus in on some of the like real specific things so you have to be real fundamental and stuff like that. Um, I like being able to work with other people and like helping other people get better and you know it's not just about like your points it's helping others score for the whole team. Players gain their confidence in multiple different ways. Brett through his teammates and Cassidy through her experience. Just knowing I got my teammates behind me just to support me and everything that I do. And that it's a, real, it's a real good group of guys. So they like to be excited for when we're doing good. And they'll also be there for when maybe you're not doing your best. They'll lift you up. Um, probably just like the experience. Since I've been on the team for three years, I kind of like know what's going to happen. and. I trust my teammates and uh, my abilities as well as theirs. The Mustangs' reputation means a lot to both of them as an athlete and a student. Uh, it means just having the utmost character and just holding yourself to a higher standard than everybody else because you're supposed to be a leader and you're supposed to be someone that others would look up to, so you need to act in that way. It's like a different experience because I moved here a couple of years ago. I didn't always live here and um, there's just a whole lot of integrity and like just like a work ethic here um, that's not at other schools. Both athletes' families have always been their biggest supporters in every circumstance. Uh, my parents would be my biggest supporters just because they're always there for me when I'm doing good and when I'm doing bad, they'll, they'll always be there. Uh, my parents are definitely my biggest supporters um, because they just, they always come, like they support me, they drive me to my games and my summer league and practice and uh, they watch and even if I feel like I have a bad game, like my dad's like my second coach, he's always telling me like what I could do better and that I'm still like reminding me that I'm still a good player. Both athletes have other athletes they look up to that have helped them grow as a player. Uh, my favorite athlete all time is probably LeBron, just because he's so dominant in what he does, and I believe he's the best at what he does. So, Carrie Walsh Jennings, even though she's not like a basketball player, she's just um, she's a professional beach volleyball player, and she it was able to balance like a whole family with going to the Olympics and. Um, that's, I don't know, I just always found that pretty cool. Although Brett will be graduating, Cassidy has a vision of a better future for the Lady Mustangs basketball team. Uh, next year we'll have some of our injured players back in and I think our record will probably be a little bit better. Um, just looking forward to a little bit more success. If you are interested in taking ASVAB Career Exploration Program test, the military will be here in March to give this free career exploration assignment. If you are interested in signing up, there will be a form in Schoology to fill out. 
The forum is due by Friday. The 24th annual February Fun Follies Through the Decades will be held Thursday, February 6th at 7 o'clock. Entry forms are now available from Mr. Matlock in the choir room. The entry deadline is January 27th. The cost is $5 for a solo or $5 per person in your group. There is a limit of 40 entries being accepted, so turn your entry in today. I'm Lex Cortinas with your weekly weather report. Today's high is 74 with a low of 35. This week's weather ranges from 74 being the highest and 35 being the lowest. There is a slight chance of rain on Thursday and Friday. Make sure to wear a jacket. That's it for today's weather report. Have a great week. Are you interested in Teen Court? If so, you can pick up an application from Ms. Walker's room. Applications must be returned by Wednesday. Training will be tomorrow. Students that have participated in the past must fill out another application and attend the training again. Don't forget, if you are interested in the Citizen B team, go by H3 to see Ms. Barch or H4 to see Ms. Ramirez for more information. Saturday, January 11th, four band students traveled to Leveland High School to audition at the TMEA slash ATSSB area band tryouts. The results were Jeremy Swole as the second alternate on alto saxophone, Jared Kirby as the third alternate on tuba, Jose Baeza is the first alternate on string bass, and Corbin Scott is the second alternate on euphonium. All four students were so close, and Mr. Johns is extremely proud of their results. These students worked so hard, so please congratulate them when you see them. Andrews County will be hosting a stock show this week. See Schoology for the schedule. Tonight is Heifers and Steers. Yearbooks are now $100, and sales will be closing soon, so get yours now. That wraps up today's announcements. I'm Jaden Zachary. I'm Emily Bergen. Have a terrific Tuesday. And stay Gold Mustangs.